I'm standing here with uh, Claudia Manzoni, who's going to explain to me her research on uh, LARC and enzym enzymatic activity. LAR2 is a uh, uh, mutation in LAR2 are the principal cause of familiar Parkinson's disease and LAR2 is uh, this uh, huge protein and uh, is a, what we call an enzyme because this protein has a, a specific function, it's doing an activity inside of the cell and we know that uh, um, mutation in the, this part uh, of the enzyme are causative of Parkinson's disease but we don't know why because we don't know what LAC2 is doing in the cell. And there is this uh, process which is called autophagy, which is the process that the cell uses to get rid of uh, stuff that is unwanted, like uh, uh, proteins uh, which are misfolded and are not um, uh, any more of use for the cell or organelles that are damaged. And this is a very important process. All the cells uh, are doing autophagy. But uh, um, uh, what we think is that uh, an impairment uh, in, uh, in this autophagy process um, can, lead, uh, um, can cause cell, um, um, cell death um, because the cell is not anymore able to get rid of uh, um, uh, damaged things. And uh, what we think is that LAC2 is implicated in the control of this process. And what we did, um, we have uh, uh, this molecule, which is a um, um, chemical molecule, which is able to block the enzymatic activity of LAC2. So it's able to block uh, the activity that LAC2 is uh, uh, performing inside of the cell. And if we block the activity of LAC2 with this molecule, what we see <coughs> is that we increase uh, this protein, which is called S32, and uh, this protein, S32, is uh, increased in a, a dose-dependent manner uh, when we block the activity of LAC2 with the inhibitor. And this protein is very important for the, uh, autophagy, so uh, for, um, for, for this process that I have explained to you. Mm -hmm. um, so the fact that we block the activity of LAR2 and we see an increase in this protein, so an increase in this autophagic process means that LAR2 is somehow connected, involved in a control of, uh, of the starting of autophagy. Um, so, um, what we want to do now uh, uh, is to characterize in detail the specific uh, molecular interaction that LAR2 has with all the other proteins which are involved in the first part mm -hmm. of the autophagy control to verify if we can uh, modulate pharmacologically the activity of LAR2 and so the autophagy pathway and, and, and then in case uh, a rescue the phenotype when we have uh, uh, cells in which there, is, there are mutations in LAR2 which are altering the autophagy pathway. Uh, we already have like fibroblasts from patients in which there are mutations in LAR2 and if you look at the uh, fibroblasts which are carrying mutation, you can clearly see that there is a different pattern in SC3 in comparison with fibroblasts um, from uh, uh, control subjects. And this means that LAR2 is uh, implicated in this autophagy pathway, so we want to correct the um, activity of LAR2 with uh, drugs and to see if we manage to correct autophagy and if we manage to correct in the end the pathology. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what kind of uh, pharmaceuticals would would you think of as being the potential? Well, uh, a lot of pharmaceutical companies now are trying to develop uh, inhibitor of the kinase activity of LAR2 because, uh, as I told you, LAR2 is an enzyme. So there are um, in, in in the enzymatic domain there are two different functions. One function is a kinase function, and another function is. Uh, um, GTPase function mm -hmm. um, here, and basically, uh, what the GTPase function is doing, uh, um, there is a molecule which is called GTP, which can be hydrolyzed in GDP. So basically, LAC2 is uh, uh, promoting this hydrolyzing process. And with the kinase uh, function, what LAC2 is doing is uh, LAC2 is able to attach a phosphate group uh, onto a target protein. Mm -hmm. So LAC2 is basically able to do two different things. And, and the phosphate and is, is basically as a marker that the autophagy process should get rid of that protein in the, in the cell? Well, 
that's the point. We don't exactly know from a molecular point of view the link between LAG2 and autophagy. We need to mm -hmm. go on and study in detail the, 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 the molecular uh, association of LAG2 mm -hmm. with the process. We know that LAG2 is involved in the process, but we don't know exactly uh, what LAG2 is doing. But the fact is that uh, the kinase domain is, from a pharmaceutical point of view, very easy to be targeted. There are ways in which uh, companies can develop inhibitor, chemical inhibitors of kinase functions. So this is making LAR2 very interesting because uh, uh, it's, uh, from a chemical point of view, easy to prepare um, through output screening a lot of inhibitors. And, and then if we manage to demonstrate that is the kinase activity of LR2, which is controlling autophagy, then we can uh, like hypothesize to use in these chemical inhibitors to control and to correct the, um, the kinase activity of LR2 in the context of the pathology. But at the moment, everything is like still uh, an hypothesis and we need to go in detail to characterize the molecular link of LAC2 with the autophagy mm. machinery to see if this really works or not, or if it is only an hypothesis. Yes. Do you think that if it's kinase activity, then it might be this, this kind of research might be relevant to other types of uh, Parkinson's that are not lag based Yes, because uh, LAR2 is not only associated with uh, familiar Parkinson's disease, but LAR2 has also been uh, associated with sporadic Parkinson's disease. Um, there are uh, uh, variations in the, in, in, uh, in the LAR2 protein, which are not uh, um, dominant mutations, but are increasing the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. So LAR2 is associated with familiar Parkinson's disease, but also with sporadic Parkinson's disease. So probably alteration in autophagy are, um, may, like, alteration in autophagy may be a common um, thing through like all Parkinson, uh, all the Parkinson uh, disease. Um, there are other genes uh, like, um, um, VPS35, for instance, uh, or alpha synuclein that have been implicated in vesicle trafficking, autophagy, lysosomes, which are um, like uh, very close to the autophagy pathway. So okay. probably this is something which is important for Parkinson and probably not only for Parkinson, because LAG2 is a, has been associated also with uh, Crohn's disease, for instance, um, or cancer. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we know that both in Crohn and cancer, autophagy is altered. So probably, um, if we manage to uh, describe what LAR2 is doing in autophagy, we not only um, uh, acquire uh, more information in Parkinson's field, but we probably are in a better position to explain also other pathologies like Crohn disease or cancer, which is like uh, an interesting uh, feature. That's fantastic. Uh, could you just maybe summarize if you have any uh, uh, ideas for further research and like where where would you take uh, your your research in the near future? Well, we have some evidences, some molecular evidences that LAG2 is implicated uh, in the first part of the autophagy pathway. So, like autophagy is working like an assembly line. So there are proteins which are recruiting thin to be degraded. That are, there are other proteins that are starting the degradation process and proteins that are involved in the end of the degradation. And we know we have some evidences that LAR2 is uh, implicated in the first part of the autophagy. So uh, it's probably associated with protein that decide if autophagy has to be started or not. So we know that LAR2 is here at the top. Mm. And we know that uh, it's not associated with the, the normal proteins like mTOR protein, which are normally controlling uh, autophagy. So uh, basically, uh, we want to go on. I mean, my idea is to go on, uh, try to dissect uh, the molecular mechanism um, through which LAR2 is associated with autophagy, uh, studying the protein uh, that are interacting with LAR2 in in, in this function. Okay, thank you very much, and I really hope that you manage to get funding for this very important research. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you.